Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Felicia Mezadu, your guide to help you design the best version of you by looking and feeling your best. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my two strand twist, mini twist if you want to call it, the two strand mini twist. I have decided to wear this style for about the next three months. I think I'm going to try and make this stretch for the month of April and the month of may and i'll probably redo it in june but if you do not know i am on a hair journey my main goal for this year for 2017 is to reach mid back length i am currently a little above bra strap or right at bra strap i haven't straightened my hair so i since i haven't straightened my hair since january so i'm not quite sure exactly where i am but like when I kind of do just like pulling it down like the stretch test, which I really don't even like doing anymore because it can kind of be a little off. Um, I, I was right at it looks like bra strap. So I'm going to call that it's right above bra strap. But I am looking forward to reaching my goal this year. I believe that with the my strategy of the two strand twist, I think I can make it happen. So I did want to share with you uh, how I created the two strand twist, how I uh, got my hair like this. And if you guys want to keep watching, then please stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to start by taking my hair down from a pony that I have had in for about a week now. Um, I recently had my hair in Bantu knots and once the Bantu knots got a little old and since I work out pretty often throughout the week, I work out at least 45 times a week, uh, a Bantu knot just will not last in my hair. Okay, so I'm going to be using my homemade conditioner. This is just water, olive oil, mixed with a little bit of the coconut whipped leave-in conditioner by Ren Pure. And also I have mixed in the um, Hello Herbal Essence, the Hello Hydration from Herbal Essence. And I just mix that in here. I shake it up and then I'm just going to use that as a moisturizer. I'm going to start by parting my hair. The more clean the parts are, the more simple the styling process will be. So I really like to have really nice, clean, straight parts. It also gives the twist a neater appearance. They last longer and I find that it makes the twist have more volume and look fuller. Next, I'm gonna part my hair into little square boxes, very similar to box braids, because essentially we will be creating little box braids and then transitioning into twist. Just gonna take a little bit of my moisturizer and spray it. I'm, gonna, I'm also gonna add a little bit of the Cantu Shea Butter. I am going to start by braiding the hair at the root. This helps the twist to last longer and it looks more neat. It also keeps the hair from frizzing as quickly. I like to braid about a quarter of an inch to half of an inch down. It just depends. I kind of just, I kind of just fill it out. And then once I have braided it about a quarter to an inch or half an inch down, then I will transition into the three strand twist. The three strand twist works like this. First, the left strand crosses over the middle strand. Next, cross the right strand under the left strand, then cross the middle strand over the right strand.
The sequence will automatically repeat itself, so continue the sequence all the way down, weaving the hairs into one another until the strands get too thin, and then just twist the hair and twirl it around the finger so the hair coils up and it does not unravel. I also like to seal the twist with my moisturizer. Sometimes I will get random pieces of hair trapped in my twist as I am twisting so I try to be extra careful when removing the pieces from the twist so I don't experience any breakage. This is a very time consuming process. So I definitely made sure I had some entertainment on site. So you know I was in my YouTube videos trying to occupy my time while I was styling my hair that whole entire night.
When I reached the back of my hair, I couldn't see what I was doing so I wasn't as particular about getting clean parts. But I did try to keep my hair in box squares as best as I could, but I mean, it just, you know, it gets, it gets rough. And because it's so rough out here in these streets, it's just really not that big of a deal to me. One side down, one more to go. It started getting really late into the wee hours of the morning. And by this time, I was really tired. My eyes were red and all types of things. Jesus definitely took the wheel that night because I can't believe I stayed up to finish installing these three strand twists. That's that length retention ambition right there. The total style time to install these twists took about 12 and a half hours. And this is the completed look. I was very pleased with how my twist turned out. It would be really ideal for styles. Thank you so much for watching. If you are not a subscriber, please subscribe so you can see more videos like this. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Favorite peace and blessings. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.